honestly believe with what he's doing, the work that he's doing, he's charismatic, he makes us laugh, it's not, he's genuine. I feel like there's something in the cosmos and in our callings that there's just, just the time is now kind of thing. He's actually able to just help me heal. Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. How are you? <laughs> okay. So this is the last for your weeklies for this month, right? I think this is the 22 to the 30, the end, okay. <laughs> the end of May. So that's good, um, we're blazing through. Um, but first things first, uh, we know that this is there should be life after tarot. We're trying to promote a good, healthy way of watching tarot without cross-watching. So that applies to you also. That applies to the person who's trying to watch this. So um, the rules are set, so we cannot bend it to, to feed our ego. So just like what our mom says when we were growing up, my house, my rules. So it's like my channel, my rules. And then you can go. Once you're ready to come, okay, to your own reading, then that's good for you. That's good for your mind. Okay, so that's that. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. So we're going to focus on the Gemini. Um, so the Gemini will be read and, you know, as good or as bad as a situation, I will call you what you, what the cards are saying. We cannot change it anymore. Okay, so that's that. Let's see. So gone are the days that they're switching off roles. Look at that. Lovers. Okay. I will also provide a link at some point for a tarot. $22 in Amazon. You can make all your own rules with your own channel. Okay, isn't that amazing? Here we go. Let's see here. For the Gemini. Queen of Coins. The other day, I know you were trying to save up. You might be coming to a coin right here. Is it your stimulus? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Hopefully it's not stimulus and you, did, you, did, you don't have your, uh, your current, uh, how to call this, nine to five. But with the Queen of Pentacles, it's promising. Okay. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, you want things to be okay, not just now, but for the future. Trimming down on things makes you stable in the future. This is when you will think yourself, you know what? It's good I didn't buy that thing because right now there's rent. Right now there's a phone bill. Right now, I want to move to a bigger place, Queen of Pentacles. A home is a Queen of Pentacles. So... I like that you're coming to a sense of maturity with how you handle your finances. Um, financial maturity is different from your emotional, mental. This is when you're accepting that um, there are things in life that you can change, especially how you handle your finances. This is ownership, maturity as it finest, and you're doing good. Queen of Coins. And if you're not doing that, can you do that? <laughs> you will thank yourself. <laughs> I like that. Now, with the Queen of Pentacles, of course, you want to settle down with someone. You're ready for the I do. Mm. Let's see. Maybe they said I don't. <laughs> okay. Oh, Six of Pentacles. You're taking care of your debts here. Let's focus on as what a card is saying. The card is saying there's, uh, you know, justice involved, meaning um, creditors can be, uh, hi. Um, your credit card, um, your mortgage, your car payment, your car insurance. This is also a rebate. So you might have gotten a rebate. Um, you paid extra or there's a return um, of investment at the same time. 
if someone owes you money, then this is them paying you back. Okay. So that's why if we're just focused on you, it's multifaceted. We're not gonna say it's like, oh, you're begging for attention and no, that's just trying to to put it in a love sense, but this is not about love. This is about coins. So let's focus on coins. Okay. So the coins here is also you have people that you're helping. You're reaching out to them. It's like, do you need help? Um, Pentacles for me is time. So you might be even offering just your time if you don't have the coins. Remember, time is gold. So anybody who's sharing time, oh, that beyond. Mm -hmm. That's more than gazillion. No one can buy time. So your time is precious. You're choosing who do you help also. Who do you give your assistance to? Okay. Like it. Ten of Swords. Okay, that's still you. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're tired. Um, if it's paycheck to paycheck with the Ten of Swords and Six of Pentacles, you're overworked, you're tired, you know, everything that you have worked for, here comes the collector. Every time, like here, okay, here it comes. I have to help this, okay. Like, when do I catch a break, in a way? Ten of Swords with the... Or the Six of Pentacles. Relationship-wise, you felt betrayed. You know, the Ten of Swords, of course, is a breakup. Um, your your thoughts here is, uh, how could I have ha how could have I trusted them? You know, is that, that's right. How could I have given them my trust? Ten of Swords. For others, you were betrayed by someone you have loaned money. Okay, so that Six of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords, you loaned them some stash. They didn't pay back, or you're giving up. It's like, well, that person will never pay back. Mm, ten of Swords. Um. Now, this can be a home loan also. You know, your Virgo fourth house. So, Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Why am I vibrated? Sorry. Okay. My mom is just asking how to make... Aruscaldo. <laughs> so, with the Ten of Pentacles, okay. Um, uh, it's showing here. Oh, mom is a Gemini too, by the way. Okay. So, Ten of Pentacles. Um, you're really saying it's like what I have lost. I need to get this back, and you're getting it again. Okay. So you have made enough sacrifices in your life for other people that now it's time for you to get up, take care of what you need, and do you first. And this is putting enough savings in the bank. Ten of Pentacles is all about reaching financial maturity. It is a coin, okay? If it's relationship, then it is about you Okay, understanding that a stable relationship is what will serve you best. Now, why did I say just now that you realize this? Because you have the Ten of Swords. It means you broke up with someone, there was separation, now you see the value that you put in the table. Because you gave time, you gave an F, and what they did to you was F. And the relationship from A, no, it wasn't. B minus, no, it was an F. It failed. Now you understand a relationship has to have this component, meaning spending time with each other, yes. You know, putting each other as a priority, yes. Being financially stable when you guys come together, yes. There's a lot of things. It's not just love. Love is there, but relationship, building marriage, now you see the logic. It ain't walk in the park. Eight of Wands. Talking to someone far from you, long distance relationship, that's an Eight of Wands. Online dating, this can be something that you're venturing in. Eight of Wands is Sag, spiritual awakening. Now, Ten of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands, I feel like there is some sort of urgency right now for you to secure yourself financially. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah. 
Nine of Cups. Emotional satisfaction is what your priority is. Getting your wish, getting your dreams, taking care of those. You're a really mature individual here. When I say mature, it's not about age. It's about acceptance of karma. That's when you know you're mature, when you accept karma. Okay. Because you're just saying, I accept this. Okay. <laughs> Three of Wands um, with the Six of Pentacles. Looking forward to relocate. Looking forward to meeting someone new. Looking forward for positive news overseas. A delay in travel could have been a factor with your dreams. Meaning you were headed out for somewhere. Normally it's going to go on vacation and that would have been delayed. And you wish that it wasn't. Okay. Strength card, overcoming uh, the breakup. You're finally over that situation. There is no um, return to sender here. I feel that you are now facing, okay, that you did your best. Aries got this card also. A lot of people with a specific like focus reading like this gives them clarity to really, oh, so that's ending. This is that kind of reading. Oh, so that's ending. This is the last time you probably will watch a reading because this is where you say, oh, so I don't need to know anymore. Yeah, you don't need to know anymore what goes after. It's because you know or what goes before um, because you know that this is over. You did the pass. You did your part. Mm -hmm. You have the chariot. Mm -hmm. So now clearly you're taking your feminine masculine energy, your yin and yang to move. You know, like I'm moving, like I'm headed towards a good direction in life right now. That's not a person. I mean, that can cancer, cancer energy. No, that's Leo. Yes, no. But this is not the people that you're dealing with. I feel like it's really strongly just you. You're telling yourself, I am motivated. I have a direction in my life. And this time I'm making it happen. And then there's the F boy. Okay. Knight of Wands. Ooh, daddy, emperor. Okay. So... With you moving forward in your life, there will be two, there will be many, okay, of people you will encounter. Choose the right person for you because you will have a choice. Knight of Wands with the Emperor. If it's just one person, Emperor with the Knight of Wands, this can be someone a superior, business owner, works for the government, very, very uh, uh, prominent, um, has a strong, you know, Mars energy. This is Aries or Scorpio. Um, and they're driven, you know, Knight of Wands is to, you know, to take you out, have some good time with you, get to know you. That's a Knight of Wands, if this is one person. Okay. So you're moving straight to someone who appreciates you a lot and who sees the value in you. The last person, they saw you like a Costco. Nothing wrong with Costco, but relationship, it doesn't look good. Okay. Mm hmm You look like a discount. Mm -hmm. We'll have a good discount, but not when you're talking about your persona, your personality, you as a human. You ain't no dollar general. That's what I say. Okay? So I'm happy that you have elevated yourself, Gemini. Come back again. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe this is it for you. Maybe this is life after tarot already. Maybe this is the time where you say, Sal, thank you. I'm unsubscribing. I'm happy because you are moving forward with life, Gemini. And slide into my DMs. Where are you going to go with this person? Okay. <laughs> so, Gemini, I'll continue this reading. Link down there in the description box for the extended. I hope you progress. I hope you heal. I hope you move forward already. Don't be staying in the tarot world. It's not a world for us to stay in. It's just like a transition, okay? Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And the link down there, all the if, what, not, maybes as you move forward with a wonderful person. We'll see. Bye, guys.